Hey guys, my name is David DiMuzio. And I'm Steve Cook. And this is Hair Loss Hope. Today, we're going to talk about how Warren Buffett feels about hair transplants. Because as much as Warren Buffett is one of the greatest investors of all time, what I think makes Warren Buffett even more special is how great a teacher he is. Most everything that I've learned about investing in life and a lot of what I feel like has led to monetary success that I've had comes from things that I've learned from Warren Buffett. There's an incredible documentary about Warren Buffett, and it's called Becoming Buffett. What's interesting is that the documentary starts off with Warren Buffett in a classroom, and he's giving advice, which you would think would be investment advice to students, to young students. And he starts off with a parable, and that is he asked the students, he said, if you were given one car when you were 16 years old and you knew it was going to be the only car that you would ever get to drive for the rest of your life. And you could have your dream car, but that would be the only car you would ever get to drive and ever get to own. How would you treat that car? And Warren says, well, that's exactly the same as your body. You are only given one body and it's the only body that you ever get, and it's the most valuable thing that you're ever given. So if you were given that car, and after a while, you realize that the bumper is starting to get rusty, would you not repair the bumper? Would you not get it painted? Or maybe that bumper then actually starts to fall off, and it falls off the car. Would you get a new bumper put on the only car you would ever get to drive? When it comes to my body, that is the only car that I'll ever get to drive. And so I do care about that. And so I think that that just seems like for the case of most people, the more logical thing to do is to actually replace the bumper on their car. Even if you're not a vain person, I get a lot of comments and I'm, I'm sure <laughs> well, sometimes people comment about you too, Steve, and they'll say, well, you guys are so vain. Like, look at you, you're so vain. And would you consider it vain if someone replaced the bumper on the car after it fell off? I would just say that was normal maintenance on your car. What's kind of funny is I drive a really crappy car. Actually, it's worse than yours, Steve. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. <laughs> Steve doesn't drive a nice car either. Both of us are kind of, Careless. we're not very um, physical possession kind of like people. Like we, yeah, my car cost me $2,500 and since then, it was wrecked by my baby's mom. She she wrecked like the door of the car. Oh. And so what's what's kind of funny is like I could care less personally about my car, but sometimes I'll go to a business meeting or something like, you know, even the my tenants of my houses, I'll pull up to their their houses like to collect a rent, you know, or yeah. sign a contract with them and I'll be kind of embarrassed because the side of the door of my car is smashed in because my baby's mom smashed it in. And so I'll try and park on the side where they can't see <laughs> the side of my door. And it's not its not a, a, like a personal vanity thing. I just think, man, this isn't exactly what I want them to think of me. I don't, I don't want them to put in their mind whatever they might think when they see my smashed in door and my, you know, piece of crap car. So like uh, Steve was mentioning, you often do the same thing, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not a car guy. I'd rather take, you know, I grab a couple hundred shares of Apple stock. Ironically, we're talking about um, Warren Buffett. That's yeah. what I'd rather buy instead of a car. No use for a car at all, obviously, to get point A to point B. That's about yeah. it. So. Yeah. And what's funny is I think we, in a way, kind of think of hair the same way. I know that I do. I go to great clips. I spend like 15 bucks to get a haircut. Most of the time I wake up and I don't even comb my hair that day like I do not personally obsess over my hair so it's not really a vanity thing but for me it comes down to the same thing as the car of like the image that I want to present and for me the physical image of my body um, and the way that I present that actually just opens up more opportunities it's, it's ironic that we're having this conversation about Warren Buffett when we're putting together this video and talking about it and what goes through my mind is you know time and time again, uh, all different people from all different walks of life. And, you know, these hair transplants are on the pricey side, I would say. I mean, you know, you have to save your money, take a loan, maybe do it twice for a lot of patients. Um, but I have heard time and time again, over and over again, from 
everyone from you know a lower income to a a sick high income that it's the best investment they ever made. So I'm sitting here smiling because we're talking about Warren Buffett. And I'm thinking about why I'd rather have some Apple stock or some Uber stock versus a new car. But in my mind, what I hear all the time is this is the best investment I've ever made. Yeah, absolutely. I'm 100% sure that I've at least tripled my investment from all the money that I've spent, you know, $30,000 plus on hair transplants and hair products, probably closer to 40,000 between all the products and everything. I'm 100% sure that I've tripled that investment in my life just from the various opportunities that have opened up to me because I look younger and I have better hair. So it ends up coming down to an investment and I'm, I'm a very investment minded person. And so when people will also comment like, oh man, you could buy a new car for that amount of money. I think, well, that's true. One, I'd rather have hair. And two, I could buy a new car with the money that I've made off of what I think are the opportunities that actually having hair has introduced to me. So that all comes down to like investing in yourself, which I think was Warren Buffett's point in this story was that the investment that you make in yourself is really going to have the best returns, even more so maybe than Apple stock. Yeah, possibly. I mean, I, I just see it where it's an individual thing. I mean, this mm -hmm. this industry is very niche. It's very much a um, a part of you know our world that obviously, uh, thanks to David and, and our YouTube channel, we've been able to present this and bring this out to people, more people, so they can see kind of what goes on. But it all comes down to how do you protect that investment? You know, you make sure you choose the right doctor, the right clinic, do your homework. The last thing we want to have is buying a bad stock, right? Yeah. Or buying a car that falls apart once we drop it, drive it off the lot. So that can happen. What we don't want is for you to realize after nine months or 10 months that your hair transplants aren't growing, that you've wasted your whatever money you've spent because you made a bad decision on your procedure. Yeah, especially if you only have one car and you know that's the only car you can be able to drive for the rest of your life. How would you consider the monetary aspect of that if you were going to get the engine repaired? Would you just think, oh man, I got to save every dime that I can on getting this engine repaired? You probably wouldn't. You wouldn't think about the price as much as getting a great mechanic to work on your car. So that's the same way that you need to think about a hair transplant. Uh, my friend Rolandas runs a great hair transplant channel here on YouTube. He talked about that and he, he was like, whether it's cheaper or more expensive, price doesn't necessarily dictate quality. Though as you spend more money, I do think you know we, we agree that the, the amount of choices that you have goes up, just like any mechanic. If, if you're gonna, if you have unlimited amount of money to spend, then you can get you know the best mechanic in the world, no problem to work on your car. So you know there's kind of a balance of those things. But I thought this would be maybe an interesting way for you. To think about your hair transplant, just think about it just like you would your car. And if you're a guy, you know, like me, that is okay with uh, occasionally having to be em embarrassed or feel embarrassed maybe about the fact that your car door is smashed in and that it's not been repaired or, you know, your bumper fell off and you're okay with driving up to every meeting with no bumper on your car, then that's totally cool and that's awesome and you can just be confident in that and go about your life. But for me, I'm a guy that wants to, to put um, a bumper back on my head. <laughs>